Ark the Center, a map that many of us have loved for many, many years, but also thought that it needed a little bit of love. It launched back in 2016, if I'm correct, for Ark Survival Evolved, and we all did love it, but it had a lot of problems and never really ended up getting a TLC. So that's why the new one coming for Ark Survival Ascended has got a lot of people excited. Today we're going to be going through the full launch details that we know so far for the game. There's lots of stuff that Wild kind of talked about and there's also stuff they don't want to spoil just yet that they said they're going to mention later down the line. So if you guys are excited for the launch of Ark Survival Ascended or the Center Ascended, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel and let's get in with the news. So, as you would have seen in one of the most recent Community Crunch posts, the center is launching on June 3rd. And if I'm just double checking that as I'm recording, that is a Monday. That is a Monday, which is uh, an interesting uh, an interesting launch date. They do seem to be doing some strange launch dates. I think Scorched Earth launched on a Monday as well in the end. It was like, because they, they were going to launch it on Sunday, and they were like, nah, we can't do this. So, they're going to launch it Monday the 3rd of June. Now this is meant to be a whole new arc world which is double the size of the island. Many people said that's just the same as the first game and are hoping to see a big big change because this is meant to be like a remastered version of it than what we've known before so let's hope Wildcard can, uh, can do that for us. Um, the Shastasaurus is coming as a brand new creature for this map. Now, if you didn't know that a lot of the a lot of the dinos in this a lot of the dinos in the game actually got kind of a bit muddled up, but now the Shastasaurus is back on track to launch with the center. And uh, let's read through it again. This was actually the seventh creature vote winner. And uh, so in the wild, this odd variant of Shastasaurus seems as curious about humans as it is uh, as distant as it is to its relative, the Ichasaurus. It sure got my attention when one of these sea monsters swam up to have a look at me. Luckily, its bulk turns out to be worse than its bite. The Shastasaurus has weaponized the ultrasonic chirps it uses for echolocation. It can focus those sounds into a tight cone that disorientates prey or the widened effect to blast apart a school of fish in a concussive wave. As for domesticated, taming a Shastasaurus was one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. I brought along some itchy pals to entertain their, uh, their larger cousins um, uh, while I sc uh, scrapped some of his itchy barnacles off with a sickle. From then on, I had a gigantic escort in deep water. Some tribes managed to kit out their finny friend with a periscope, torpedo bays, and even a cargo hold. Those Shastasaurus end up looking like something from the old kids cartoon with cavemen who turned dinos into cars and submarines. So this sounds so, so cool. I can't wait to see what this is going to be like in game. Lots of people love the ocean in Ark Survival and have always said that it's deserved the TLC it's really needed over the years. So I cannot wait to see the Shastasaurus in all of its glory when the center launches June 3rd. Now, something that wasn't mentioned and hasn't been mentioned for quite a while is that the Gigantoraptor will be coming to the core game, which will mean you will not have to have the mod installed anymore, and that can save and free you up a lot of space in the game. I think the mods probably, I think from what I remember, is in, in like, was it like 1.2 gigabytes to download? Or, uh, I can't remember, I knew it was like a couple of gig um, to download the Gigantoraptor, and... If you didn't know, the Gigantoraptor was actually meant to be launching with the center, um, but then it got the center got delayed, and they just wanted to say sorry, and they gave us the Gigantoraptor in mod form, but then when the center gets released, they can integrate it as an actual creature within the core game. So in a way, you're kind of getting two different creatures, because the, you'll get the actual launch of the Gigantoraptor, and the Shastasaurus on day one launch, which is really, really exciting. Now, a little note that Wildcard mentioned, um, which has got us all questioning what could this actually be, is they said, we can't spoil all the fun just yet. But just know that even more exciting developments are cooking for the June 3rd update. 
your arc adventures are about to get a whole lot wilder. So I have no idea what this means, to be honest, guys. Like, they, the thing is, they, the wild card, the, with Ascended, things just change so quickly. Like, you know, they cooked up the Bob's Tool Tales for us, which is only for, um, for Scorched Earth, Aberration, and Extinction. But Wildcard just seem to be pushing the, the boat out. That You know, they seem to really be trying to go over the top to make sure that we feel like we're getting more for what we for what we bought with Ascended. And I feel like they've known they've had to do this because, um, you know, when, when the game launched back in October, it only had the island and it got hit with some really bad reviews. And there was a period, uh, I would say, for a solid, like, two months maybe, where I wasn't covering ARC as much because I wasn't having a lot of fun. I was waiting because I just was, like, la there was just so much... There's just no content, <laughs> pretty much, is the best way to put it. And now that they're back on track with the roadmap... They're cooking up so much other stuff on the background. It actually gets me so much more excited for these maps because there's always additional stuff they seem to uh, announce. Like when they told us Scorched Earth and the Fazla Sutras was coming, um, you know, out of nowhere, the Oasis Saw was announced, Bob's Tool Tales. And I'm not saying there's going to be Bob's Tool Tales content for the center because, I, you know, I think that'd probably be way too much work. But it does make me think what else could come within this June 3rd update. And I really hope it's just something that gets us all overly excited uh, and then hopefully there's no delays because they didn't delay scorched earth they, they kind of went they, they made a little bit of a mess out of it because they said it was coming march 31st they then said it was coming earlier in, well the beginning was it was coming uh, uh, in march then it was told we were getting it earlier then they pushed it back to the first and it, it just got changed so many times but overall in the grand scheme of things it actually launched pretty much on time so if wildcard can keep doing this with every single dlc that launches this year that would be absolutely fantastic because I do think the center could, if it finally has the TLC and love that it's deserved to have for all over all of these years, then that would be absolutely fantastic. But that's pretty much all the launch details that I can share with you guys right now as of the 15th of April. It's going to be a very fun day. I know it's been a little bit more quiet um, uh, uh, like since Scorched Earth launched. Some people don't like some of the things within Scorched Earth. Some people absolutely love the map. But yeah, I'm just looking forward now to the future. So much to come within Ark, and uh, hopefully over the next couple of community crunches over the week, we will get um, uh, some more news on what this hidden surprise is. Anyway, much love to you all. Leave a like, subscribe. I will catch you guys tomorrow, which will be my next ARC video. I have a Helldivers video coming later today. It is my birthday, but I'll be cooking up some nice birthday content. Uh, and I'll see you guys in my next video.